had this other client at one time, and she had a variety of fears, and she had this dream that she told me, and she was walking down a beach, and on the side of the beach, up a dune, a small dune, there was this old man with a snake, a big python, and there's a crowd around him, and she didn't want to have anything to do with him. He was sort of showing people this snake, and she told me that dream, and I thought, well, you know, you probably need to go see that snake, and so I relaxed her quasi-hypnotic technique and said, okay, so let's explore it. I asked her when she was in relaxed, I said, well, what do you think about the snake handler? And she said, well, he's probably a charlatan and he's just there trying to impress the crowd and to show off. And she was afraid to go up there because she thought people would push her towards the snake and she'd have to touch it. So she was afraid that the crowd would push her to do something that she didn't want to do. That was part of the theme of the dream. So anyway, she eventually climbed the dune in her imagination and went into the crowd and the crowd turned out to be quite welcoming and not hostile and not pushy, which isn't what you'd expect, right? because the, you'd think the crowd would have ex reacted in accordance with her fears since it was her fantasy. But that, that's the thing about fantasies, they have this autonomous quality. 